Yes! We just had a feeling we would. He's pretty big. Normally seeing a giant spider would not result in that kind of excitement, but it's a whole different story here in the Comanche National Grasslands this time of year. I think people are excited to see uh, spiders in their natural habitat. They are big spiders. I don't think people are used to seeing spiders of this size. I think it's a, a combination of people wanting to learn, people being curious, and people just wanting to experience something new. It's called the tarantula migration, but it's not really a migration, more of a mate-gration as the male spiders venture out to seek a mate. And mid-September into the first week of October is the peak season thanks in part to the cooler weather. And that's when these large spiders are most easily viewed and it's become quite a draw for many folks. We've known about the tarantulas for a number of years, but we've been uh, promoting them to the locals as well. And so a lot of people that live here don't even realize that this happens yearly. We were getting a lot of questions about it, so we built a web page around it and the interest in it has just continued to grow year after year. That interest has definitely grabbed some attention. I just heard there was a great spider mi migration, the tarantulas, and I definitely want to see that. Just the idea that you could possibly, you know, find a, a number of them, a large number of them, and that it's, you know, more or less a reliable kind of thing. But I feel like I have a little better chance if a lot of them are traveling about at this time. And it was. Even I didn't have to drive far across the dirt roads to spot my first one. There's one. Right there, he just crawled into the road. And I wasn't alone. Doug Frank and his wife were out as well, and they drove a couple hours just to get here. We came down from Colorado Springs uh, to look for the spiders, and uh, we were lucky enough to see one here, and uh, they're beautiful. It was a good day. Fortunately, tarantulas are docile creatures and are not severely poisonous to humans, but like any wildlife, respect is definitely the order of the day. They're actually gentle giants and they'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. So we don't want to overlove them and we want people to come and enjoy them. Uh, leave them here in their natural habitat so that we can have this phenomena to um, offer to tourists for many years to come. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback. Hey AccuWeather fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, Make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more from AccuWeather.